Hi, I'm Cheryl Hoffman, here from Brother International. In this series of videos, we're here to show you the My Design Snap app and the features that it has to work with Stellar machines. The first video will show you how to connect your machine to the device. It's a simple step, but it gets very detailed. So we're going to go through it in small details so that you can connect your device to your machine at home. Let's get started. We're here to help you today to learn how to connect your machine to the device with the app and learn how to work with My Design Center. So, before we get started, you have this paper that came with your machine. This is another source to help you to learn how to do some of these things. So, you want to start here where it says before starting, it tells you to load the app onto your device. We're going to start with the machine. I need you to start in the top left hand corner and you're going to touch the Wi Fi icon right here. And when you do, this page automatically opens up. Notice it says Wireless LAN Enable and the off is highlighted. You need to touch the word on and it will turn blue and the very next line says none. That's because we haven't set this up yet. So the third line says wireless LAN setup wizard. You're going to come to the right side and touch that arrow. Now at this point the machine searches for all the wireless connections that are available. So this screen will not match any screen that your machine will find because this unit found these routers that are available to this machine in this location. So this screen will never match what your machine will see. So here, where this machine sits, we're going to find the one that works here, space. So we're going to connect here. And now at this point, you have to know the password for the router you're going to connect with. This is how you would enter it. And here's for your uppercase and lowercase. That's how you change for when you have uppercase and lowercase. Here's where you have numbers. So you can change whatever it is that you need to enter. So the beginning of ours starts with the uppercase P and then we need a lowercase so we touch lowercase and enter. And now in order to keep this secure we're not going to have you see the rest of our password. So we're going to enter the rest now and you're going to enter in the password for your router that you're entering for your machine. So the beginning of our password is pass, and no, our password is not password. When you're finished entering your entire password, uppercase, lowercase, numbers, whatever you need, when you're finished, you touch the word OK down here. And after I'm done and I'm touching OK, I'll come back. Once you've entered it and you've touched OK, then it says Apply Settings and you're going to touch OK again. And when you've entered it, then it says Connecting to the Wireless LAN. So you know it's working together and then it tells you Connected to the Wireless LAN. So now you know the machine has connected to your router. So you simply touch OK for the third time. Now our machine has connected to the router and we need to notice one more thing before we exit out of this page. Notice here it says machine name and this says sewing machine 168. That just happens to be what this unit is named and right here you can change it if you'd like. We're going to leave it here because it's enough for us to recognize it so you have to remember that. Sewing machine 168. Okay, we're going to close out of this page. It goes away and we know you're connected when this wireless icon, remember where we started in the top left hand corner? Now it's blue. That's how you know the machine is now connected to the router. So now we're going to go to the device to connect and work with the machine. So we're going to turn it on. And here is the icon that we're going to work with called My Design Snap. So I'm going to open the Snap icon and it starts off with the word Brother. And it tells us next press search to search the machines connected to the wireless LAN. Now if you don't have that icon, if it tells you your device is not connected, then you go into the settings page and you connect this iPod or whatever device you're working to the same router that you're working with in the same environment that you're working with the machine. So now I simply touch the word search and it's searching for machines and see now you can tell that that blue has now found the machine and if you have more than one machine around you would have a list so you would select which machine you want to work with and now we simply say select 
And now this is why I told you you had to watch to remember what machine name you had here. Remember we said sewing machine 168? Here we have sewing machine 168. All right, so now you think you're all set, but you really have to touch that line because watch, when I touch it, there's going to be a check mark and then the screen goes by and now it shows you that the device is actually connected to talk to the machine. And now you know you're all set. Now we're just going to do finish and we're all set. It brings us right back to the beginning of the app. So we know that the device is talking to the machine and now we can go on with whatever application we want to use the app for.